Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Um, good evening uh, to everybody, Ms. Uh, Sandoval, Mr. Vasquez, and Ms. Mira. Uh, we're going to start in San Minutes. Okay? We're going to start at uh, uh, 8 o'clock. So I'm just okay. setting some things here in my computer. Okay, okay. teacher. Cheers. No problem. Okay, um, good evening to everybody. We're going to start uh, the class that we have set for tonight. Um, okay, um, <clears throat> well, before to start class, I would like to know if you have any, uh, any question uh, for me. Uh, if you have any question, please, this is the right moment to ask because I have some information for you. Okay. Yes, teacher, let me see my ask is about the platform. Okay. Let me, let me see. <clears throat>
It's a final test. Uh, C, act number six. Um, sorry, Miss Sandoval. Can you give me the number, the exact number of that exercise? Uh, <clears throat> is examen final? Uh, uh, Miss Sandoval, I need the number. Just the number, two point something or I don't know. No, is. Just the final before, test. Before you, you need four. Ah, you mean the final test. Okay, give me a second. Okay, that's mean that you, that you complete the exercise, uh, I mean, the final test, right? Yes. All of them. The, uh, no, number six is is easier to get around in a city that has an efficient my administrative protection system. It, um, is exercise is, A, B, C, D, or uh, E? C. Exercise C. C. Okay. Yes. What's your question about this exercise? C, act number six. <clears throat> okay, uh, do you have any option for, for this exercise? Yes, you. Uh, I can put um, word, cost of living, green space, nightlife, climate, shopping, transportation system, mm -hmm. and number six is bad. Okay, what is the option that you have? Transportation system. Transportation system. Uh, okay. I got it. System. Okay. Um, in this case, Miss Sandoval, there is an error in the platform because. Um, the answer is transportation system, but you must type just system because transportation has been omitted in, in the case of this exercise. Okay, just write system and, uh, and it's supposed it's going to be uh, right, okay? Because this is a problem of the platform. <clears throat> please write the answer in the chat, please. Give me a second. <clears throat> okay, just system like that. Okay, does anyone okay. else has any other uh, question for me? Yes. Uh, final test B, uh, number one. Final test. B number one. Okay. What's the problem with this uh, exercise, Miss Sandoval? Bulgaria is a small country. Bulgaria is cheap to travel in, in by bus. My anger is. Let me see. Bulgaria, which <clears throat> is a small country. Mm -hmm. Just it's that. cheap to travel by bus. 
Uh, okay, you are meeting. Um, you are meeting that in, in, in this sentence. Remember that in some cases we we'll have to use that. This is necessary in order to answer uh, or to complete this exercise. It says Bulgaria is a small, a small country. Okay, that's correct. That is cheap to travel in by a bus. You got it? Uh, let me see. Wait, me, please. Yes, teacher. It is? Okay, very yes, good. Thank you. Very, very good. So, um, nobody else has any other question, right? No, thank you. You, you know how to do okay. Uh, well, guys, um, we're going to be working in section number two, um, and we're going to go to the uh, topic that it's a spirit of belief. Um, there in section number two, we're gonna find a video. I'm going to play this video right now, and then we're going to be discussing. This is a uh, this bear of belief just is a, a, a list, okay? And I'm going to show you in the video. I think that some of you have maybe have watched this exercise, but um, I will do it in this video conference in order to develop an activity uh, tonight, okay? So, just give me a second. I'm going to change my screen for this. Okay, so let me know if you can listen. Okay, I'm going to play it right now. Hi, let's look at the following list. This. Can you listen? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, yes. Thank you. Uh, yes. yes, teacher. Thank you to confirm that you permission. It's so too I'm long. Going to play I'm going to play the video, okay? So please pay attention. Hi, let's look at the following list. These are verbs of beliefs. They will help you express how certain or not you are about something. Ready? Repeat after me. Assume. Be certain. Be positive. Be sure. Bet. Dubbed. Figure. Guess, have a hunch, know for a fact, suppose, suspect. Use verbs of beliefs to discuss the following questions. Number one, why do giraffes have long necks? Number two, is there intelligent life in other planets? In other planets? Okay, um, these are the two questions that we are going to be discussing tonight. You are going to be you are going to be working in pairs, um, and you are going to discuss this. And the first question uh, that you are going to be uh, answering is why do giraffe have long necks? Okay, that's the first one. And the second one is there any intelligent life in other planets? Please discuss these questions and then bring me um, a conclusion, okay? Uh, one of you is going to participate, you decide who, um, and please be ready for it, because I, be, um, I will be asking for conclusions, okay? So if you want, please take a screenshot in order to um, have the, well, in order to, to control the uh, questions later, okay? So. Are you ready? Yes, yes or not? Teacher. Yes, I'm ready. Yes, teacher. Okay, Mr. Torres, Mr. Sandoval, okay.
Okay. Um, I will start the breakout room right now. Um, please join each of the rooms and discuss. I will be visiting you and maybe I will be asking you uh, what do you think about these questions, okay? So, see you in 10 minutes. Okay. Again, see again. Yeah, it's a pleasure to me to be working with you. Um, I think that there are another classmate. It's Carlos Vasquez. Yeah, hi. Uh, how are you today, Isaac? How are you, Nathalie? I'm pretty how great, you, Mr. Carlos. I'm fine, Mr. Okay. Uh, which question do you want to start? Uh, the second one. The second one. Why do girafes have long necks? What do you think? Um, in my opinion, I think that this was a evolutive process in the animal kingdom. Okay. Because at the story, at, at the history of the animal kingdom, it's explained that it sees another animal or reptile that it was a type of dinosaur. So this dinosaur is now like a brontosaurium because you have the similar anatomy of the giraffe. Um, so oh, I think, yes, I think that the giraffe can be a cousin or a partner with the brontosaurus, brontosaurium. Uh -huh. But I think, but the problem is that they are not the same as, as spices because and one is a reptile and one is a mammal. So it's not an a conscious with both anim animals. Okay. But it, it, it can, um, so that's a, a process for me, a evolutive process. Yeah, I, I think um, something similar that you said. I, uh, actually, I, I assume that uh, giraffes have long necks because uh, because uh, the the kind of food that that they consume. I mean, uh, maybe maybe uh, giraffes uh, have evolved to to reach uh, high highest trees and to not need to compete with other uh, animals uh, which feed uh, with uh, leaf or or branches or some some uh, I don't know, uh, grasses that, 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 are, that are in, in near, near the ground. So they, they have evolved to, so they, so they can reach highest uh, leaves. I mean, I, I think, or I figure that is something like you said about the, the dinosaur with long neck. What do you think, Isaac? Yeah, I stand that, uh, as you mentioned before, uh, it's a, well, actually, Nathalie uh, say that uh, 
it's an uh, evolutive process when the giraffe hands has a long necks just to reach out uh, every single plant and not compete with other with other animals, right? To reach out uh, food or plants or every single kind of uh, or vegetable or plants they they need to eat, right? I think that it's a it's a big it's a good good thing, right? Because they they evolve, they has they had an evolutive process to 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 reach out that right. Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Do you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, Mister. Okay. I can hear you. Okay, I, I think that they they they, they are <laughs> they are uh, amazed with, <laughs> with the, the whole whole knowledge that I have. <laughs> so everything I say this is is wrong, probably. <laughs> okay. Um, and what about the other question? What about uh, is there intelligent life in other planets? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. I think I, I, I think that uh, yeah, there probably are um, some intelligent uh, life in other worlds, but it's something a little bit complicated at the same time. Just for this, this particularly, that you can uh, you can watch every single day. Until this day, we we can notice we can notice uh, just a. Uh, a little bit uh, like uh, I don't know an inch or so, a centimeter or something like that. You can assume that that there is a, a, a um, intelligent life, intelligent uh, I don't know uh, kind of of life, another another um, war, right? Another planet, because I think that they 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 probably could have visited us. I, I don't know, a lot of time. Actually, I heard a lot of times about the, the theory of the ancestral, um, ancestral um, astronauts. Uh, they have a lot of problems to sustain that with, uh, with that evidence. Yeah, you can, you can get a lot of things, uh, the Sumer, the uh, Babylonics and stuff like that, probably the, the most, the most old, uh, old uh, enid or, or life here in the, in our earth, right? But it's a little bit complicated to assume that, yeah, probably the, the outside of the, this war, there are intelligent, Take off, uh -huh. take off, take off. Of the of the land. It, how, how how do you, how do they uh, uh, return of the moon of the land? It it here need a uh, a lot of uh, technology, but on the moon how how. Actually, they, I, 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 in the moon, I, they don't have a special. Actually, the first travel to the moon, uh, I have written that that is uh, it was fake, because there is evidence that the the moon is have, has a different surface, not like the sixty six. Uh, the NASA show in the sixties. In the first travel in the moon. Uh, the triple are uh, un chimpancé, chimpancé. <laughs> yes, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, China has, has started a, a, a program to travel and also to check and, and study all the, the moon, the surface of the moon completely. And it's really different that the, that the NASA said that the movie showed and a lot of things. Mm -hmm. it's, it's speak really about different. that. I speak about that. Yeah. They tell you, or in our planet, um, I think so. Uh, the USA they found trace on ships. 
ships. Sí, es true. Eh, eh, en, eh, speak a little Spanish. Encontraron huellas de una nave. I don't remember what country is in, in this moment, but they found a trace. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting thing. But I still don't believe. <laughs> well, according to the black men, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> the many black. Marita, can you hear me? Marita, I can hear you. I'm here. Vanessa? I'm here. Now I can hear you. Yes, now I can hear you. Okay. I so was trying to say the verbs. Yes. There is an ever there. Oh, there are a couple of people. Okay, we are coming back. <laughs> uh, teacher, can I can I ask you something? Sure, tell me. Uh, how do you say pyramids? Pyramids. 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 Yeah, pyramids. Okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, well, were you, what were you what were you discussing about the questions that I, I left to you? Do you think that uh, do we have aliens? Oh, we think that there is a possibility that it's a possibility. They exist. Okay, very good. Because I've been hearing some comments like, um, uh, well, uh, another group says that um, maybe the troubles to the moon uh, were fake that um, <laughs> things like that, okay? <laughs> okay, but, but tell me, what, what's your opinion about it? Do you think that we have aliens? You mean, um, it could be true, false? Uh, we think it's probability that it exists an okay. life because the universe is too big yes. to be only yes. us. And there are a lot of things that we haven't uh, discovered yet. That's that's a truth. That's a fact. Okay. Uh, and what about you, Miss Galdames? What do you think? Yes, we were. Oh, yes, we were talking about that. Uh, I think the thing I was telling to I don't know Rafael <laughs> that uh, uh, maybe there are some no human beings, but beings. I don't know. Is that right, Bean? That they know they might not need the same things that we need to live, like air, like water, like food. Maybe they need other things, and that's why uh, scientists scientists think that there are a lot of planets, but they they we can use it to live in there, but because our needs. But if there is this, if these people doesn't need that, they can live there, and we will never find out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's true. Because um, one of the things that um, we may we may discuss here is that if there are uh, aliens, uh, we will know because um, there are. The distance between other planets are so big, so so big, and uh, the thing is that we don't have the technology yet, and I think that we won't have it uh, during the the, the well, the, well, five hundreds in a future. Maybe maybe I, I think that's one hundred years in a future we won't have the technology. That, that's what I think, because I've been reading some uh, articles about it. And, and to discover all those things, we need uh, so advanced technology in order to see if there are a other like like uh, human being or like, a, 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 like a animals or things like that in other planets. That, that's a complicator. But let me ask you about the second question. 
Uh, then it says, why do giraffe has long necks? Why, what do you think? What do you think about that? We were reading because we have, well, at least I didn't have any idea what to say. And we were reading that the giraffe have long necks as a simple matter of natural selection uh, and evolution. That's all we could find. I'm okay. sorry. <laughs> okay, okay, yes, yes, true. <laughs> remember, um, we have, I, I don't remember the name, but uh, it's supposed that in the past, uh, there were a um, dinosaur that has Dinos. like a similar mm -hmm. neck. Like uh, yeah. a long neck, yeah. But I don't remember uh -huh. the name. Do you, do you know the name of the dinosaur? No, no. no. I don't me, remember. Me I know I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, me neither. So, uh, well, we're going to be back right now to in the um, general room, and we're going to be discussing um, about this, please. Be ready because um, one of you is going to share what are your conclusions about the buff questions, okay? Okay. Okay. So you may speak. <laughs> do, you want, do you want to be the one to speak? That, no, okay. it's okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you, Rafael. <laughs> <laughs> He was giving us some more information to talk. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a copy in, in a test. <laughs> he was giving us the answer. <laughs> So we go into the uh, the answer. We come with the giraffes, just yes. natural selection and evolution. That's right. That's all we <laughs> <Okay>. can say. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Welcome back. Well, we're going to listen uh, the conclusions that you have for those questions that we saw previously. Uh, well, I think that everybody is here right now. Let me see. Yes, everybody's here. Uh, well, guys, tell me who's going to be the first one. Is here any volunteer who wants to participate or do I have to choose one? I want to participate, teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay, Go ahead. Okay, well, I was talking with Sara and Adela, and the first question about the giraffe. Why do the giraffe have a long neck? Uh, we think that it's for rich food in the top of the trees, food and avoid competition with other animals. Okay. Okay, okay, very good. And in the second one, is there intelligent life in other planets? Is Sarah and Adela think that it's a possibility to find life in, in other planets, but also <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> because oh, okay. this is my, I think that the, the earth is really old. The earth is really old and why other, other people, other, other, another life don't come to us? Okay, very good. Yes, like uh, why we are alone here in this planet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, let's see. Someone else? Thank you, sir. Very good. Thanks okay, for thank your you. participation. Anyone else? 
Any other volunteer? No one? Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, Mr. Vasquez. Yes. Okay. Okay, uh, sorry because of the noise, but it uh, has started to rain here. Uh, it's raining. Oh, okay, okay, don't worry. Uh -huh. So, but, but I can hear you. Okay, and I okay. think everybody can hear you. Okay, thank you. Okay, we, uh, I was working with uh, Isaac and Nathalie, and we were talking about the both questions. Um, and the first, we uh, think, we assume, that uh, giraffes are uh, has a has a long neck, have a long neck, because uh, of evolution. Uh, we think uh, they have evolved uh, to reach, as uh, Jose Mariano said, to pick over food uh, from from higher levels, and the shorter animals uh, can can reach. Um, and maybe, maybe I, I think, uh, I guess that maybe uh, the neck is used uh, in fights uh, with uh, other males competing uh, for the females, animals. Okay, and about the second question, about the intelligent life in, in other uh, places. Uh, we think and the same maybe maybe it it could be but there's not enough evidence to prove there's intelligent life in other planets okay that's all right yes thank you okay very good thank you for your participation uh, sir let's see someone else hi teacher hi I'm going good to evening participate. okay hi. go ahead Okay, I, I was working with Maritza, but she had to leave because she lost the connection because it's raining. So oh my God. She, she has to tell you that. So, however, we, we finished the, 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 uh, the activity. And with the first question, why the giraffe has long neck? Uh, we suppose that they have to eat from the longest trees, so they need to reach out the food for survival, as Jose Mariano said, right? I think that we believe that the same thing that they need to reach out that the, the food. And the second one uh, um, is intelligent life in other planets. Um, we are certain that the Nazis uh, intelligent life in other planets because we have religious beliefs. So okay. uh, we were created with a, by a Supreme God and we read okay. the Bible and the Bible don't mention that. So okay. uh, that's why we are saying that not exists in the mind. Very good. Okay, uh, okay. The participation. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you for your participation. Very good. So uh, let me see. So what else? Anyone else? Uh, yes, teacher. Okay, mister. Uh, I was working with Maria. Okay. And we come to the conclusion that the giraffes have long necks simply because natural selection and evolution to okay. adapt to the environment where they live. Okay. And the second one, the life in another, intelligent life in another planet, we think there is a possibility because the universe is too big and they say that there are a lot of planets that are similar to ours that can take a, that, that can have be vegetable life and that can sustain life like us. And Miss Maria says that even if is that not the case, there is a possibility that the other beings don't necessarily need the same things as us to live. That they don't need water, hair, or air. Okay. Okay. Very good. Like like a different environment. Very good. Yes. Very good. Uh, let me see. Who else? Thank you, sir. Good participation. Uh, let me see. Someone else. Anyone else?
Anyone else? Nobody? Let me see. Who's missing here? Um, Miss Molina and Miss Gomez. Are you here? Hello, teacher. Hello. Um, <laughs> I work with Ana Molina and the conclusions that we have is that we assume that giraffes have long necks because they, so they can like reach their full easier. <laughs> and also, um, I guess that with that, they can like be more aware of the other animals that maybe want to attack them or something. And, and if there is there intelligent life in another planet, and um, we we talk that maybe in the future with the technologies, the the people can like how do you say when they can like find and um, something in in other planets or take something to another planet. And that's mm -hmm. all. That's all, okay, very good. Excellent. Um, well, I think uh, everybody has participated, at least uh, one member of each group. I don't know if someone is missing. Is anyone missing? No? Okay, very good. So guys, um, you know, the, the topic that it's supposed to we're discussing is verb belief. Okay, this one, the verb belief. Um, well, the list that we have in the video, I'm going to show you, has 12 uh, verbs. This one, so I don't know if you can, you can see it. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. To yeah. assume, be, yes. be safe, team, uh, be positive, be sure, bet, doubt, figure, guess, have a hunch, know a fact, suppose and suspect. Okay. Uh, what are we? What are we? Uh, what are we been doing here? Is like uh, discussing about things that maybe we didn't know and we have like supposition and uh, things that maybe we can assume. When we talk about verb belief, it's when we don't have um, any idea, oh well, we have an idea, but we are not sure, okay? Um, and this verse sometimes help, you, help us to create sentences in order to express um, some uh, thoughts about some things that we want to, um, oh, oh, I mean, that we can guess, okay? But we don't have the right answer. Like we are talking here about suppositions, okay? Uh, th these words uh, are focused on it. And those verbs are useful in order to create sentence in that way. And uh, we can say like, I assume that uh, you were thinking about this, this, and this, okay? So th those things, th th those verbs, when we conjugate with each of the uh, pronouns and nouns that we have, uh, we can create like, um, an idea that we are not sure about it. Uh, what are we going to do? Please choose three of them and create a sentence. You decide the context, uh, the context, I mean, uh, where you want to uh, focus your sentence. But please include uh, the verb in, uh, in each of the sentence. So 
Is it understood what I'm saying? Uh, can you explain it again, please? Sure. We're going to create three sentences because you are going to decide, um, well, you're going to choose three verbs, okay? Those verbs must be included in uh, each of the sentence. That's meaning uh, the, the sentence, uh, one sentence for, for instance, for assume, uh, one sentence for doubt, one sentence for suppose. So that's what we're going to create. Three sentences using one verb, uh, or one verb of belief, and the ones that we have in this list, uh, here and the context you will you, well you you're going to decide the context that you want to give to that sentence. Is it clear now? Yes, sir. Sure. Thank yes, you. Yes, sure. Okay, uh, Mister. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Very good. So uh, I will give you I think a. Uh, Three minutes, I think it's enough. When you have, the, if you have your sentence, um, please send it using the chat box. Teacher, we're going to put the sentence in the chat. Yes, you're gonna oh. you're gonna send it, it using the chat box. Thank you. 
Okay, um, I think that everybody wrote your the, the, the answer here, but there are three missings. Okay, guys, um, as I'm reading your um, sentences, and uh, let's see, I think that some of you use um, some, some words, but there are some others that just didn't use it. Just give me a second. Uh, okay, here. I have to. No, oh, well, you are correcting all of them. So, uh, some of some of you were correcting what I was trying to tell you because in the case of assume we have to use double s, and it's it's okay. You already corrected. Uh, well, guys, that that's that's the the activity. And as you know, uh, the purpose of this kind of um, this kind of words is just to assume something. Okay. Um, if you create a sentence using um, this or oh, this uh, words that uh, you're seeing in your screen, let me see. Give me a second because I'm trying to do something. I mean, trying to um, show you something or well, this. Okay, this, this, and this. Okay, here. Okay. Um, as you know, these these are a, a these are the verbs that we were discussing previously. Um, what happened with it? Something that we have to add here is that uh, when we use it, we can use a uh, different. Um, different tense in each of them. What I mean is that uh, we can use it in simple present, uh, past, a, a simple past, a simple future, uh, where we have also a, the past perfect, the present perfect, okay? Um, the continuous. So we can use it in all of them. Uh, the thing here, is that when we use it, for instance, in the past, we are going to use this verb in the past. Also, if we use it in the future, we are going to have uh, our sentence using the auxiliary verbs in order to express a future. Uh, as you know, we have two, we have two auxiliary verbs that uh, let us express the future. Uh, when I mean three, three uh, words, we have will, Okay, that is the first one. Going to, that is the second one. In show, that is less used, but it is used for expressing, um, for expressing future too. Show. Um, well, 
Do you have any question about this? No question, teacher. No, no question. I have a question. No. Okay, what, sir. What? sir, tell me. What was the last one, teacher? The first one you says that it is will. The second one is going to. And the third one, can you please write it on the chat? Yeah, sure. I'm going to use it to uh, type it out. Thank you. So, yes. Okay, thank Mr. You. Mr. Vasquez wrote it for me. So, thank you, sir. Mr. Vasquez, thank you. Uh, well, that, that's the, the other one that we use for uh, Express Fusion. What happened with it? The, the thing is, sir, that in, in this case, short is less used because it's common when uh, someone uh, used like uh, the British accent uh, or uh, speaking our way. So for that reason, we uh, that speak like American English, we uh, used to um, use just uh, will, I will, you will, okay, or you are going to, or I'll, in which we say that the, the, the action, I mean, the verb that we want to express. So uh, for that reason, it's less used here in this, in this area. Okay, any other question? Any other question? Do you have any other question? Okay, so uh, guys, that's been uh, all for tonight. And you're going to have a, a, a homework, okay? Um, you are going to, uh, to create a conversation using um, these words that we uh, saw today. Um, this conversation has to or needs at least uh, five participations for each one. It's going to be individually. So that's mean that you can decide like A, B, A, B, A, B, or you can give it a name like Maria, Pedro, Maria, Pedro. So do it in that way. Um, and the conversation needs at least five participations. When I mean participation, it's talking about a, 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 a specific topic. Uh, because um, if you say just hello, like, uh, how are you? That's not what I want. What I want is a um, real conversation uh, where you can use this um, kind of birds. Is it clear what I'm saying? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. But it's just one conversation. Just one conversation, just one conversation. yes. And it's going to be individually. Okay. okay. I can use bear belief. It, just the ones that we have here in this list. Like assume, be, be, be certain, um, be positive, be sure, okay. bet, about, figure. Guess, have a hunch, and know for a fact, suppose, or suspect. Uh, those are the words that we're gonna wanna use. Okay, thank you, Mr. Yes, I mean, when I mean that we're going to use, that's not mean that we're going to use all of them. Just please try to include three, four of them. No, no, not all of them, because sometimes it can be like, uh, like uh, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, like a like church with a lot of information in order to use all the all the words here, and maybe we can be like uh, jumping from one topic to another in order to use all of them. So for that reason, try to uh, select one, uh, some of them and uh, include it in the conversation. Uh, well, guys, see you this coming uh, Thursday. That's me tomorrow. That is the last class for this week. Uh, be on time and blessing for all of you. Okay, bye bye. Okay, bye bye. Bye, teacher. Thank bye. you. Good night, bye. everybody. Good night to everyone. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.
Take care.